Climate change is the other thing. I'll get into that more. So it's, it's down here at the bottom. It's the economy and the breeding. As those factors, spread factors, try to push down the production, the yields, we've got to use those green factors on the bottom to push them back up. And we're also going to have to go into a lot of molecular work and GMOs and doing dramatic things like improving the efficiency, photosynthetic efficiencies of plants and, and other factors of phosphate efficiency to keep to get those lines up to meet demand. So I've been talked about the effect of climate change. This is uh, what we're looking at just by 2020, modeling here from Senate. In the dark down here, it says a 38% reduction in the mega program area for wheat in northern India. That's a dramatic of, of having from high production area to going to a marginal production area. 38% of the area being predicted in the next 20. Uh, 10 years just because of, or primarily because of higher temperatures, that we won't be able to mature, uh, the, the winter will be shorter, the temperatures will be higher. Similar things happen in Africa. What's going to be happening with maize? And I want to credit Phil Party for, for some of these illustrations. The dramatic area of uh, impact on maize that's coming in Africa because of climate change. One of the other big issues, especially in South Asia, you think about India, is the subcontinent of India in geologic time has been moving north and crashing in to Asia. It pushes up the Himalaya mountains. Those Himalaya mountains have been a great reservoir of water in the form of snowpack, in the form of glaciers. And that water slowly melts and is released into the reservoirs, into the irrigation systems that drive tremendous production in northern India. With climate change, that snowpack is going to shrink. It's going to, sh it's going to migrate up the mountains, and there's going to be less of it. So the precipitation is going to fall as rain, in many cases, instead of snow. Or if it falls as snow, it's going to melt right away. So instead of running down the river in January, February, March to feed that maturing wheat crop, it's going to be running down the river in the fall in the, during the monsoon season. Uh, it's not going to be available. So you've got that. You've got falling groundwater tables. You've got dramatically increasing demand. You've got yields of wheat in the Punjab not just plateauing, but actually beginning to fall. The, the leadership in the Punjab is getting frightened of this. 